Hey, it's Peyton here. I'm uh, here to have our first ESL video lesson. And I'm joined by my new friend, Raja. Hi, Peyton. <laughs> uh, hi, Peyton. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm glad you're here. Why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about yourself, Raja? Speak up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I already told you my name is Raja. Uh, uh, I'm, I came here two years in uh, 2014. Uh, it's almost like six six years, uh, and I'm uh, I'm here in Richmond around one and a half year. Okay. So I I try to I'm trying to improve myself on uh, the Eng English okay. uh, conversation skills. So while I was going through a couple of uh, couple of options, I saw this place, and uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, conversations going on about it. <laughs> so I thought it's uh, I just come here and see what's going on. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. So. So I just dropped in. So you're you're kind enough to uh, 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 accept me and uh, having uh, to start the classes. I'm yeah. glad you could be here. Otherwise, it'd be kind of boring if it was just me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tonight, as you see, we're going to talk about COVID-19. This is part of everyone's conversation right now. Yeah. Um, so COVID-19, it is a type of virus. You know what it's called? What kind of virus that is? Uh. It's a coronavirus. It's got, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so coronavirus is a type of virus. Uh, there are lots of viruses. There are cold viruses, flu viruses, mm -hmm. uh, whatever viruses out there. Um, but right now we have what started out as an epidemic. Epidemic, yeah. So that's, a, that's when something spreads over a certain yeah. area um, yeah. very quick. It's an outbreak. Yeah. So uh, not, not geographic regions. Right, right. Uh, not, You're not talking a, epidemic? The uh, epidemic, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not as large an area. So it's right. restricted to smaller communities. Right, yeah. right. And um, can you remember any epidemics that you've heard of in the past? Uh, epidemic, I, I, I kind of remember like leprosy, uh, okay. uh, malaria. Oh, you have epidemics of that? Yeah. Okay. Malaria. Those are some of the sicknesses you have there oh. in India, right? That's yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, I think it's uh, polio. I don't, I'm not sure it's epidemic. Yeah. I think malaria is epidemic. But, but things like SARS. Um, yeah, SARS, yeah. H1N1. Yeah, H1N1. That was uh, an epidemic. Yeah. Um, and then the... Yeah, so, sorry. Uh, that's okay. I was... Uh, no. Yeah, those are not... This epidemic. is conversation. Yeah. <laughs> We're having conversation. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's good. So... Um, uh, oh, Ebola was yeah, an epidemic. Yeah, yeah, epidemic, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was telling you earlier that um, I was living in Istanbul mm -hmm. when Ebola started, and there were a lot of students that were coming to my church who had, um, they were safe, they were not contagious, but when I heard that Ebola could be transmitted by sweat, yeah. and it was a hot day, and they, they hugged me, mm -hmm. and I had their sweat on me, I, I felt a little bit uncomfortable, but you know we were safe and and that was fine. Yeah, yeah. it's scary actually, but yeah. Yeah, and notice that we're practicing social distance. Yeah. So we not only have at least six feet between us, but we also have these um, music stands, yeah. <laughs> and we both have our own, our own uh, uh, yeah. hand sanitizer. Yeah. yeah, and we've got some items right here. We have <laughs> yeah. tissues. We yeah. have. Clorox wipes, and we have different sprays to spray things down when we're finished. Um, it may look like we're afraid, but the thing is, we can't see yeah. the virus. The virus, yeah. We can't see it. We don't know where he is. Um, face masks also would be a good thing to have. Um, uh, we're just not doing face masks today. Maybe, maybe we should, but I've got some in my car. That won't do me any good right now, will it? Um, an outbreak is like an epidemic. It's when something happens suddenly. But yeah. we use the word outbreak for other things. Can you think of other times we would use outbreak? Like, uh, so, like in a kind of war. Like a war? war okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a time. Um, yeah, uh, an outbreak of an illness or an outbreak of violence. Um, could even use that in just a criminal sense, yeah. an outbreak, uh, perhaps. Um now, a pandemic is when you have an, a disease epidemic across a large area. Large area. So we're in a pandemic now. It's, it's in a pandemic, yeah. So, yeah. So it's crossing borders, it's crossing nations, it's, it's right. around the world. Right, right. So it's in India, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, 
fortunately there are, there are not many people okay. affected by this Good. Uh, this time government is very proactive in uh, doing all the things necessary things okay yeah okay. and our government is trying to be proactive i believe um learning from the other countries where this has happened yeah. you, you know the other yeah, countries yeah. right what? I, uh, yeah right now the the whole europe especially the italy italy yeah. and uh, uh, initially it's china then yeah. in south korea yeah. uh, iran and italy so these are all the pain pla yeah. painful places they are having a lot of pain right now iran is really suffering and it, it worries me um because they already have the sanctions i'm not trying to be political uh but they already have the sanctions which makes it Difficult for them hard to purchase to, things that they need. To get the goods. Yeah. yeah, and of course they've got the reputation of not being forthcoming with their people. Yeah. Um, and uh, again, I'm not trying to be political. It's just what what I hear uh, from people from there. Um, yeah. So it's tough. Now, uh, you mentioned polio and leprosy and malaria. Those are actually some diseases. diseases yeah. In yeah. your country, right? Yeah. I right now they're not there. Okay. But, but I, I have them, I saw them, uh, it's a problem some time back. Right, Probably okay. 15, 20 years back. So you've never known anybody with leprosy? No. Okay. No. And uh, you've never known anybody with polio? When I was growing up... I, 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 I know one oh, person okay. with polio. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I had a friend um, on my bus, uh, a couple years younger than me, mm -hmm. and his hand was shriveled up because of polio. Mm -hmm. uh, the only occasion I knew of of my generation having polio. I had an uncle with polio. Yeah. Um, but, but I think uh, right now the complete world is, uh, I'm not sure the whole the world, but uh, mm -hmm. I know pretty sure that uh, India has uh, eradicated this polio. Notice I was itching and I grabbed a tissue to yeah. scratch my nose and now I'm using my <laughs> hand sanitizer. So we, so we should use hand sanitizer more frequently. Yeah, that's right, that's right. This hand sanitizer, by the way, I made myself. I okay. went to Walmart. I purchased some aloe vera gel, yeah. which is not really like gel. It's more like just a thick liquid. And I think you need alcohol. And, oh yeah, it's got alcohol in it. It's got the ninety-one percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. And so I poured just a little bit of the aloe vera first, then the alcohol, mm -hmm. and shook it up. And so I've used this for several days now. But you see, it's just that much. And you see how often I'm mm -hmm. using it now, even during this uh, broadcast. <laughs> Um, so when I lived in Kazakhstan, I had to deal, I was concerned about tuberculosis, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, not that it was something that everybody had to deal with, but there were some occasions when I went places where there could be people with tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, I went to a prison once, uh, to help some people out. But of course, in the prison, that's where there's a lot of tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm okay. Yeah, I, I had to be tested several times when I was teaching in university there they made me uh, have a special um, you know screening or um, exam to make sure I didn't have tuberculosis now there's the um, people do some things to prevent the flu uh, like they'll get a, a shot do you call it shot in in India or do you call uh, it I didn't remember calling shot okay yeah, so. well in England I know they call them jabs jabs um, uh, but we also call them vaccines. Vaccines. So in India, we call it vaccine. Vaccine. Okay. Vaccine. So the flu vaccine um, is something that I don't always get, but I really recommend everybody needs to have the, the flu, vaccine flu vaccine right yes. now. We, we need that to be careful because it's not just the COVID-19, which there's no vaccine for at the moment. It's a seasonal uh, flu. You have to, uh, if you take the shot, mm -hmm. shots, so you will be, so you can at least avoid seasonal flus. Yeah. Yeah, um, and we can also, um, uh, we can we can do some things to, well, we'll talk about precautions again in a minute, but um, now, one of the things about COVID-19 is that people who are in certain categories mm -hmm. are more in danger, right? What, what categories are they? As far as I know, uh, people uh, people who become old, okay. elderly, elderly people. Like me? Mm, <laughs> Probably, I mean, uh, they are seeing uh, with more than 60 years okay, with pre-existing pre pre -existing conditions. Okay. Like that means they already have some problems, uh, health problems. Uh, especially those are the people are most hit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
I think from the uh, from the news or uh, from the online, what I get is, uh, if you have an immunity system which can fight with the coronavirus, mm -hmm. then you are safe. Okay. So, uh, what they are saying is, if you are uh, more than 60, 70 years of age, more than 70, and you have pre-existing conditions, those are the persons who last, who has less uh, uh, immunity power to fight with the uh, okay. coronavirus, right. and also they uh, they added pregnant women. Oh, so, pregnant women. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. Those are the most. Uh, those are the people who have most affected. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now children are relatively safe, but that doesn't mean that they're one hundred percent safe. But but I heard they are they are the possible uh, 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 candidates for transmission. Uh, carriers, we would yeah, call them. Yeah. Those who carry the carriers, virus. Carriers, yeah. Mm. So, but so everybody has to uh, mindful. Okay. Yeah, about the virus. Yeah, and one thing that we're planning here with ESL is that we won't have any classes as long as there are no classes in the schools. Now that would be different when we get to summer, but during this time of the um, of the pandemic, as long as schools are closed we won't have ESL here. Um, now, we might change a few things about that, but that's what we've decided right now. It's changing all the time. You know, the other day, you couldn't have meetings of more than 250, then not more than 50, and now not more than, more than 10. 10 yeah. Yeah, or not, so, not more than 9, maybe. <laughs> social distancing is the yeah. priority right now. Yeah. I was in a meeting earlier today, and it was four people, but we used three tables. Uh, in order to make sure that we weren't too close to each other. Well, um, what are the symptoms that you've heard about for this virus? And you know what a symptom is, right? Yeah, um, a symptom is like a, uh, the kind of a feeling, I guess, I okay. say. Yeah. The uh, effects if, or... Yeah, yeah. If, you have, uh, uh, if you have fever or normal throat pain mm -hmm. or you have a difficulty in breathing mm -hmm. and... Uh, uh, it could be normal, normal uh, cough and cold. So if it if it keep persistent for more than two three days, mm -hmm. so and and also the fever, so then uh, you should really see your doctor. Okay. So that's what people are saying, and that's what uh, the the news is saying about. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I think the breathing problem is the main thing. And people have a cough usually with this yeah, too. People uh, have a cough. So we'll talk a little bit about coughing in just a minute. Um, so. A word that we would use to describe this particular virus is that it's contagious. Contagious. <clears throat> highly contagious. Oh, yeah, highly contagious. And we can't see it. Yeah. You know, if I am a carrier for it, hopefully I'm far enough from Raja that when I speak, the water droplets are not coming close enough to him. Um, same thing if he's carrying it, I'm not receiving it, hopefully. But... I got this too. <laughs> so want to be careful. <clears throat> so it's not airborne disease. So it, it it's, it's not transmit to air as far as I know. Yeah. But as you mentioned, it's droplets. Mm -hmm. So droplets are the so that's why when you cough, yeah, you have to uh, 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 close your mouth with your elbow. elbows. Yeah. yeah. If we cough into our hand, which is what we normally do, then we're gonna touch something. Touch something. <clears throat> Yeah. Now, um, it is a dangerous disease, and it is a deadly disease. I heard today that 100 people in the United States have died from coronavirus, I mean, from COVID-19 as of this morning, or this afternoon, at least. Um, I really feel sad that there's oh, going to be more. Only today? Uh, as of today, I heard, as of today okay. I heard that there were 100 people who had died from it. Um, more than 50, though, came from the same location in the state of Washington, um, yeah. uh, an elder care community there. Um, and I, I really hurt, you know, for yeah. those people. You don't know me, but um, my parents passed away last year. Oh. I lost both of them in one year. Sorry and uh, that. Thank you. Yeah, it was, it was very hard. It worked, uh, in, in about a month, we'll come up on the anniversary of my father's passing, and my mother passed in November. Um, but one thing that, um, not that I wanted them to go, but I, I'm really thankful that I'm not worried about them right now in the community that they were living in. Um, I would, I know it's a good community and there's nothing, I, I think they do a really good job in these elder care communities, mm -hmm. but 
at the same time, I'm, I'm personally relieved that I'm not having to think about this right now. Yeah. Um, but I am concerned. I, I have some friends who are in uh, elderly communities right now. Yeah. Um, one man who I want to visit, but I can't visit him. Another couple that I'd like to visit, but I can't visit them either. And uh, so I'm trying to be in touch by text messaging and phone calling and email and, and through the videos yeah. that we're doing. We're doing videos, uh, trying to do a video every day uh, in which we will have a, uh, an encouraging word for our congregation. And you can still see that on the same YouTube channel that this will be on. Well, there's some precautions we need to take. Um, we've talked about them already, uh, hand sanitizer, but they say that washing your hands is the best. You want to wash your hands frequently. Okay. And, and when you wash your hands, is it like just turn on the water, stick your hands under it for a second, and that's no, it? No, no. I think they are saying at least you should be stay there around 20 to 30 minutes, 30 seconds, sorry. Okay, okay. 30 seconds so that uh, you will completely wash mm -hmm. off your, wash off the anything remaining on your hands. And you need to use soap though, soap, not just yeah, water. Yeah, not just water. Of course, if you have warm water, hot water, yeah. that's the best. That's the best, uh, yeah. Now they say to sing a song, like happy birthday to you while you're doing it, you know, or twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, now... Today, if you've looked at Google, uh, and most likely you have, uh, it, it has a little uh, stop sign. I think it, it was a red sign at least, and it said, do the five. So the five things were, number one, hands. You should wash them often, right? Yeah. And as we said, we should do it for 20, 30 seconds with soap. So what's the, what's the E? Uh, e? E for elbow? El elbow, okay. And what do you do with your elbow? Elbow, if you are coughing, so uh -huh. you just have to uh, close your mouth with okay. your elbow. And another thing that people do with the elbow is they tap they each just, other uh, with yeah, right the now, elbow. It's a social distancing and uh, <laughs> not touching your hands. Yeah, okay. So you want to you wanna wash your hands off, you cough into your elbow and tap somebody with the elbow. Gosh, I'm, I'm tapping somebody with an elbow that I just coughed into. I don't know if that's all that good, but whatever. Keep the social yeah, distancing. Yeah. It's been so hard for me because I'm used to shaking hands with everybody. Yeah, it's hard. It, yeah, when I lived in Kazakhstan, you always shook hands with a man. Yeah. It didn't matter if you knew him or not. If you walked into a room, mm -hmm. and I, if I walked into the room and there you were, and there were five other men there, if I only shook your hand and didn't shake theirs, it would be offensive. It, it's not a polite thing. Is the same thing in India? I don't think so. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So in India, we usually do this uh, namaste. Oh, namaste. <laughs> namaste. Yeah. What does namaste mean? Namaste, I, I think it's just a kind of greeting. Okay. It's a polite greeting. So it's like welcome. Yeah, welcome. Okay. All right. And um, so hands, wash them off and elbow cough into it. Face, don't, don't touch. touch it. Yeah. So and that's, that's the most important fact. Okay. Thing, yeah. So, think, so, you get something on your fingers, yeah. you touch your face. Touch your face, then that's yeah. uh, the most, uh, 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 most way to go into your nose. Yeah. Yeah, so. I, my face has been itching so much during yeah. this video. As soon as I came here, so it, it started itching. I don't know because we are just uh, thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah. So, it started, uh, yeah, we have to be careful. <laughs> That's right. And then it says feet. And they're not so much talking about our feet on our, uh, here, but uh, they're talking about distance. Distancing. And Google said three feet apart, more than three feet apart. I hadn't heard that. I'd been hearing six feet. Six feet. At least six feet apart. Uh, I mean, if, if Raja, if I knew he had the virus, I'd be 10 feet away from them. I wouldn't even be in the same room with them, okay? <laughs> but there's another thing about feet that Google doesn't say, but I saw um, someone on Facebook had posted this today. They said, you're so worried about washing your hands, keeping social distance, but you walk in your house with your shoes on. Shoes on. Americans do this a lot. I did this up until I was about 33 years old. And when I moved to Kazakhstan, we always were taking our shoes off. Shoes off, yeah. Now, I, since I've come back to America, I do walk around the house a little bit with my shoes at times. But generally, I don't. And I, um, I, I take them off at the door. When you walk into my home, 
there's a, a pile of shoes right there, a little shelf yeah. for the shoes. So same thing in your home? the same thing in India, yeah. Okay. Do you leave your shoes outside the house? Outside of the house. Yeah. Outside of the house. That's even better. Yeah. But when I was growing up, I remember leaving shoes outside my house once and a dog came by and picked them <laughs> up and ran off with them. So the joke was on him because I'm sure they smelled bad. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the fifth point, the first one is wash your hands often. Second is cough into your elbow. <laughs> Uh, don't touch your face, mm -hmm. remain six okay. feet from each other, and then what's the final? Uh, if, you, if you feel sick, stay in home. Feel. Yeah. Yes, if you feel sick, stay at home. And um, before we had canceled our meetings, we were telling people, if you feel sick, stay at home. Yeah. Um, even even uh, a few weeks ago, we were telling people, if your children are sick, please keep them at home because our workers in the nursery were getting ill from kids coming in with colds and flus and things like that. Well, I want to close with um, a verse from the Bible. And this is from Psalm 46, verse 1. It says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. A refuge is a place that we go to for help. It's a place where we go to hide from danger. <clears throat> Strength is what we need when we are weak. Help is what we need when we have a problem. Trouble, that's what we don't want. This verse does not say that God keeps all trouble away from us. But it says that he is the one that we go to when we are in trouble. He is the one that we go to for our strength and for our help. So I would like to pray for our ESL family and for your families back home. And thank you for tuning into this, and we will do this again next week. But pray with me, if you will. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the opportunity to have this lesson. And I thank you, Lord, for every one of our students and for my new friend, Raja. I ask you, Lord, to bless our students and keep them safe, their families, their children, their spouses, their brothers and sisters. Keep them safe from COVID-19. I also pray and ask that you would protect their family who live in other countries like Guatemala and El Salvador and Costa Rica, Brazil, Colombia, uh, places like um, West Africa, North Africa, Morocco, Egypt, Iraq, um, Iran, Afghanistan, uh, India, Pakistan. We've had students from China and from Korea, uh, students from Thailand. Uh, we, we ask you, Lord, to bless their families and keep them safe and, and help us to not be over-anxious in this situation. Help us to be careful and please protect us, we ask. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hope to see you again next week. Thanks. Probably still recording. <laughs>